Hello everyone, welcome back to the next episode of Fahrenheit. Let's continue. There you go. Great music, let's dance. What is this? Okay, just some names and numbers. I want to dance with somebody. What is this? Oh, there is someone. Hello. Yo. Yo. Excuse me. <laughs> oh, oh, I am sorry to cause waiting on you. Your presence here bring honor to my miserable shop. Uh, my name is Takyo. Uh, tell me what I can do to make you happy. Damn. This guy looks just like that old Chinese dude in Gremlins. If he offers me a little box with a monster in it, I am gone. Okay, I need your expertise. I was digging around in my closet and I found this old book thought it might be worth something. Ah, I'm happy. I am but the washless well of ignorance. My tiny expertise extend wholly to books I serve here. Really? Damn, I am the police. Well, actually, I'm a detective with the NYPD. You, immigration? Yes. You come like my pleasure? Yes. All paper store family Go is right legal. To jail. You verify it. No problem. Okay, okay, calm <laughs> down. I'm not here to bust you. Hey, not yet. If you no good warrant, you go now. This private property. Shut yeah, great up. strategy, Tyler. Nice work. <laughs> Can you just take a look at it? You must have seen books Come like on. this one before. Ah, many times. Yes. I very sad to say, no can be helping you. Thanks anyway. At least I tried. Uh, what the fuck? Why can't you help me? Stupid ass. What is this? Okay. Let's see. Must be something here. Okay, it looks like a bonus card. Maybe there what? is something I can do for you. <laughs> One client order very rare book. Since this morning I look for it, but impossible to find. You find this book and I tell you all you want to know. That sounds good. So what does it look like, this book you want? Ah, easy. It from same collection as this one. Okay, I ought to be able to handle that. Bring back the sacred diamond of the old sage of the mountain, and he will give you the magic talisman. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. What am I, in a video game? <laughs> no video game. No gaming for you have to play the errant boy so I have to look here what's here okay 
beautiful can Cadis Cave and G Cadis Edicio de Grutola de Grutola that seems to be the guy who wrote that book is it De Grutola okay Okay, I found those names and numbers, and that was here. The Kurtola, 1796-1007. Okay. and he was wait there was something second floor third floor okay I have to go to the third floor de Grotola so the white area Okay, okay. Let's move. Third floor, wide area. Wait, there was a bonus on the other side. The book you're looking for isn't here, then it doesn't exist. That's it, I think. I got your book. Now tell me your secrets. Okay, here's your book. Oh, great. You found it. Thanks, dude. What do you want to know about that book? What? What happened with your accent? Is it just me or did you lose your accent? Oh, yeah. That's for the customers. Ah, they love that wise old Japanese master <laughs> stuff. <laughs> I was born in Brooklyn, man. I never been no further than Long Island. Hey, I'm more American than you are, man. <laughs> okay, what the Can you tell me book? anything about the book? Yes, yeah, nice edition. Leather cover looks like one in the Shakespeare series published by Lamarck and Everett 1884. Yo, thanks for your help. No problem. Come by again, okay? What? I lost something. What a torn this? piece of paper. Looks like a computer printout of a bunch of numbers. Fell out of the book. Must have been a bookmark. I'll check it out at the office. Okay. Am I done here? As far back as I can remember, I've been frightened by small spaces. 
Whenever I'm in a small, confined place, I start to panic. I have trouble breathing, and I need to get out right away. Yeah, you've heard the name. Claustrophobia. Well, I had decided not to let my fear control me. I decided to try and fight it every chance I got. I'm going to stay calm. Everything is going to be fine. I'm going to breathe deeply and walk without stopping until I find the computer terminal. There should be a switch box around here. A switch box? Where is it? Keep it, in, keep it in the middle. What is that? over there. But... I, I'm what freaking out. I can't breathe. I gotta get out of here. Oh my god. I'll come back later. And control my fear. Calm down. Nothing is happening here. Okay. One more try. Here's the archive terminal. I can consult the file here. The save files are classified by year. The Kirsten file should be in the 1990s. It shouldn't be too hard to find. 1990s. It's 
There's no power to the terminal. I guess there must be a switch box somewhere. Okay. Where is the switch box? The electricity's cut. I just need to stay calm. I will control my fear. I will control my fear. Okay, the switch box is in here. Okay, good. The terminal works. Now I just gotta find and pull the file. Trouble breathing. I've just got to stay calm. Can't let the fear get out of control.
Okay. And now I should be able to move the shelf. Starting with K. Just need to check to make sure I've got the right year on the terminal. I think I found it. The file is empty. No report, no evidence, nothing. Wait. There's the name of the detective in charge of the investigation. Robert Mitchell. Robert Mitchell. Let's look for him. Okay. Lucas. Okay, where's the house? Is it here? Here it is. Is there anyone here? An old sink. Nothing in particular. in the cages? Oh my god, crow. I knew it. Ish, pretty gloomy pets. Is anyone at home? Sticks, an old grimoire. Weird atmosphere. A stuffed crow. Ooh, stuffed out. Agatha? Why do you want to talk to Agatha? Father Marcus Kane sent me here. I have a problem. I need to talk to her about it. 
a problem. <laughs> and who on earth doesn't have problems? Oh, she's blind. Looks like. One need not have eyes to see. Be kind, young man. Push me over to my birds. It'll be more comfortable for us to talk over there. Okay. is such a unique animal. It can spend its entire life locked up in a cage and yet still keep on singing away. What brings you here, young man? Tell me, what is your cage like? I killed a man. It, it was like I was possessed. I watched it all happen, but I had no control over my actions. Sounds like a rather commonplace story to me. Don't you think that it might simply be because you've gone mad? Man. You're right. Maybe I have gone mad. But I thought you could find some sort of explanation. In the cupboard, you will find a little bag of seeds. Be a good boy. Feed some to my little darlings, will you? Uh, oh my god. I don't want to do that. Have you experienced any other strange manifestations since then? Have you had any odd dreams or visions? Yes. I see things as if the reality in front of me was deforming, becoming horrible. Are you able to attach anything concrete to your visions, such as a symbol or a sign? Maybe a word? Crow. When I regained control of myself after the murder, this symbol had been cut into my wrist with a knife. A snake. Two open jaws. Oh, dear God. What does it mean? There's only one way for me to be sure. Please, push me into the sitting room. Or not? Oh, I have to turn her 
Okay, now it should work. You'll find some candles in one of the cupboards. Take them and place them in the candle holders. There should be some matches in the kitchen. Go find them and light the candles. stove. Hmm, the coffee pot is still hot. I need a coffee. Uh, old plates on the shelf. Matches. And a knife. I want to pick up the knife. But I can't. I'm not allowed to. Excuse me, could you tell me again what I'm supposed to do? Uh, okay. You'll find some candles in one of the cupboards. Take them and place them in the candle holders. There should be some matches in the kitchen. Go find them and light the candles. I know, I know, I know. Okay. First. Second. Almost ready to begin. Turn off the light, close the curtains, and sit down next to me. Oh, it's starting to get creepy. Where is the light? Sheets on all the furniture, as if the house hasn't been lived in for a long time. The only way to understand what has happened to you is to try to go deep into your unconscious memory. Whoever it was that forced you to commit this murder has erased himself from your memory. But there still must be a trace in your unconscious. I can help you to locate it. It's an exhausting ceremony, and there's always a risk involved. 
Do you, or do you not wish to try it? I wish to try it. Yes, I do. Give me your hands. Now, close your eyes. I want you to empty your mind and open wide the doors to your unconscious. And let me enter there. That We're still together. Lucas, are you there? Yes. I want you to return to the restaurant, just before the events began. Evacuate all extraneous thoughts, and wander freely through your memory. Where are you, Lucas? I'm standing outside the restaurant. I want you to enter the restaurant now. I've gone into the restaurant. What do you see? I see some customers. And I see the waitress. Can you see the table where you were sitting? I'm looking. There's a police officer. He's sitting at the counter. Concentrate, Lucas. Now, walk to your table. standing next to my table, but it's empty. You haven't arrived and sat down there yet? Yes, I have. My meal is already on the table. I, I think this is when I murdered him. I... Stay calm, Lucas. I want you to tell me exactly where you are. I'm... I'm in the restroom. And so is the other man. What's he doing? He's urinating. He doesn't suspect anything. And you, Lucas? Where are you? I don't know. I can't see myself. There I am. I was in a toilet stall. Oh my god. I'm holding a knife. He doesn't see me. Calm yourself, Lucas. Keep your concentration. I... I can't control my steps. I'm walking up behind the man. He doesn't see me. I don't want to. I don't want to, but I can't stop myself. I want you to re-enter the restaurant. But now, it is prior to going into the toilet stall. Do you understand, Lucas? Before. Where are you now? I'm in the restaurant dining room again. Are you sitting at your table? Yes, I am. I can see myself. What are you doing, Lucas? I'm eating. I'm eating and reading a book. A book? Yes. Shakespeare. The Tempest. What else do you see? As I told thee before, I am subject to a tyrant. A sorcerer, that by his cunning hath cheated me of the island. What did you say? It's a passage from Shakespeare's Tempest. That's what you're reading, is it not? Yes. Someone's coming toward me. A man. Who is it? A customer? I don't know. I think so. I can't see his face. And what does he say to you? I... I, I don't know. I, I can't remember. You must concentrate, Lucas. You need to remember. It's one of my favorite books. A shame so few people read Shakespeare these days. 
Would you mind if I sat down for a moment? Ah, it's just that... The man sat down at my table and... Now the waitress is coming. Sir? A coffee, please. The waitress... It's as if she didn't see the man, like he was invisible. So much has been written about the Tempest, especially concerning the theme of magic. And now, what's happening, Lucas? I, I don't know. The man gives off a very strange energy. It's hard to describe. Go on, Lucas. What happens after that? Do you believe in the power of magic? No, I don't. Listen, um... You're wrong. You know there's much more to our universe than can be perceived by the naked eye. Your coffee, sir. Thanks, Kate. The waitress has brought him his coffee. But she's talking to me as if I was the one who ordered it. She doesn't know that he's there. She can't see him. And now what's happening? Listen, I don't want to be rude, but I'd rather eat alone. Master Noctilan, Kathanekle, Kortniklan, Arniklan, Nekmaster, Oshin, Oli, Islan. I'm paralyzed. I can't feel my body. I can't move. The man, Lucas. Where is the man? He, he stood up. He's gone out. He's in my head now. He controls me. Follow the man, Lucas. Hurry. I command you to follow that man closely. He's going out the rear door. Follow him. Your mind and his are now linked. You can see what he sees. You know who that man was, don't you, Agatha? No. I don't know. I'm not sure who he is. Yes, you do know who he is. You understood it all as soon as you felt the scars on my arms. What do these symbols mean, Agatha? Tell me what that man's done to me! You should go now, Lucas. There's nothing more that I can do for you. You could at least explain what the hell's happening to me! He made me kill a man! I want to know! I need to know! I have to verify certain things. There's nothing more I can tell you today. Come back tomorrow night at the same time. I'll explain more then. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. Let's continue with color. Training Sergeant Mitchell? That's him, in the second to last row. Thanks. 